hello lovelies welcome to the channel now i know i did say twice that i was due for a project life video but i was so excited to journal this in my journal today that i really wanted to share with you um a new creative venture that i've taken on um Recently on Instagram, I discovered Little Raven Inc. And I will leave the link to her Instagram below. And I'll leave the link to my Instagram below too, so you can check it out. And now I have a daily journal, but it's more of a, you know, what we've been doing. And I have an art journal, but that's more art. And I, I haven't actually been journaling for the sake of journaling, you know. It's been more documenting and memory keeping, but it's, it's hard to explain. But when I discovered... Um, this way of journaling, and I only discovered it just this week, I've become addicted. Now, I'm calling it creative journaling. Now, it is a mix of collage, art journaling, journaling, all thrown into one, and I am really enjoying the process. Um, my daily journal is a day to a page journal, and in the past, I've kept junk journals and things, but it's m more been, you know, recording day-to-day -day life, so it is always, you know, every day. This form of journaling is more free-flowing. It's more, you know, I'm calling it a brain dump. Any, Because I have lots of random thoughts. Um, I'm insomniac. My brain just keeps ticking at, at night. This is where I'm putting all of that. I'm calling it a brain dump. So I have pages that just have um, random thoughts written on it, random quotes my kids have said. But then there's also pages like, the one I did today where I'm going where I have been documenting things that we've been doing now I have a project life album I do still project life and obviously these will end up in my project life at some point but the fact that I we only went to Cooley Rocks on today and I've already documented the entire weekend really excites me so instead of being weeks behind in my project life um I've got photos in a journal already you know, that very night. It's it's kind of exciting to to be, you know, to have that sort of going. But that's the page I'm sharing with you today. So Cooley Rocks On, for those that don't know, I live on the Gold Coast, uh, Tweet Heads. And in Coolangatta, um, on the June long weekend, we have a nostalgia festival that we call Cooley Rocks On. It is a 50s nostalgia festival. Um, Hot Rods, Elvis, think of the 1950s and, yeah, Cool and Gutter is transformed. It's amazing. It's so much fun. Now, we all love it for different reasons. My husband loves it for the cars. I love it um, for the music and the boys sort of tag along. So it's, it's a great festival. It really is. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, over the past two days, I've been documenting what we've been up to. And today was the day where we went in and we looked at all the cars and the boys walked along. Um, we got our carnival food, so there's a lovely picture you're going to see of me having a Dagwood dog. It's a horrible photo, but it is tradition every year I get one. And yeah, so while I was out and about, um, when we got home, I mean, I also found some photos of um, some pictures online of hot rods and some rockabilly girls and things like that to include as well because, well... That's part of the fun of this new creative journaling process. And you're going to see this page come together. So what I've done is, like I said, it is also a mix of, of art as well. There's all sorts of art in here. There's collage, there's paint. Um, I was going to go with pink because I like bright colours with um, black. But what happened was the day before, um, on the page that I did before, I had used red. And I decided to stick with red because I wanted to sort of have some cohesive continuation happening. So you can tell that the two pages are of the same weekend. Only problem was, um, I'm one of those do first, think later kind of people. And I put my black down first, which was really silly of me. I really should have put the red down because the black would have covered it. I did dry my paint as much as I could because I'm a very impatient person because I knew that if I had have applied it while it was wet it would have mixed which you can see it did a little bit up in the top corner and it just looks dirty I do fix that later on but yeah I really should have applied the red first and then gone the black over the top but you know we're gonna go with it so I've cut out my um pieces that I have printed from the internet so these are just standard pictures I've got a hot rod I've got a rockabilly girl and coolie rocks on I've got last year's logo because I don't like this year's logo honestly and I just wanted to have sort of like a, a title and I've got some pictures that I'm using as well now I'm going to start on the left hand side first because I was more decisive of what I wanted over here 
Now, there is an awesome picture of Cooper and I um, dressed up in our rockabilly gear. It's it's not a lot, but it's as rockabilly as we get. But And the reason it's only Cooper and I is because today um, the Sharks played the Tigers and the other two sports nuts in our family uh, were in their football gear. So there are two definitive types of people in our house. There are the sports nuts and then there's Cooper and I. So yeah, that is why we were all dressed up in our, well, it's, it's as rockabilly as we get. So yeah, we just took a cute little picture. So I've never actually cut around my pictures. I've always used them as they are. So three by four or four by six. So it was really uh, a new step to actually cut around a picture and sort of use it as a collage element so that was pretty cool so I'm just gluing all this down now I'm using my gel medium and I'm scraping the bottom of that tub I do have another one on hand but um, I got everything out of that tub I could and I'm using that to adhere everything down now that white space there I'm using that as a journaling block because I did want to sort of have it all um, flowing together and the fact that that rockabilly girl was sort of cut off in the middle I didn't want her just floating on the page so I did want to put something there for her to be resting on but I also wanted a space for my journaling as well so two birds one stone now this picture here there's there's two photos they were printed at four by six but I've trimmed them down a bit to fit this picture on the front is a gorgeous corvette and um I loved the photo and on the other side there is Cooper and his combi vans. Cooper loves combi vans. I'm partial to the Bel Air which is the picture that features <laughs> up the top on the left hand side and hubby loves his Mustangs. Will loves his Lamborghinis but that's a whole different thing. So the car cruise was on last night and um, it's where they all cruise around the streets of Coolangatta and we go down for that. And just the excitement on Cooper's face when he saw these combi vans. He wants to drive a combi van when he's old enough. So every time we saw a combi van, he got his photo taken. And he's taking it into school on Tuesday to um, yeah, show the boys. And yeah, it's, um, so these two photos, I'm using them as sort of like a, a little flip part. <laughs> I wanted to include these photos, but I, I had lots of photos that I wanted to include. Now in the journaling world, this is called a tip-in. It just sounds funny to me to say that. So I'm just going with like a little flippy part, which is even worse. But you know what I mean. So yeah, so it's um it's an interactive element. So I've glued it in with washi. I'm glued it. I have adhered it in with washi tape. And yeah, it just flips over. So then you can see the other page, which is the slide I'm working on now. So I had a whole bunch of photos. And I printed them off. Oh, two would have been three by four. So... What's that? Do the math. <laughs> one by one and a half, something like that. Anyway, so yeah, I um, I used, I could have used my sprocket, but it was on charge. I end up using my sprocket for that photo of hubby up the top there because I hadn't printed it off. I'd forgotten. And it's my favorite picture. It's him taking a picture of his Mustang because that's what he does all day. He takes photos of all his favorite cars. And um, yeah, so the others I printed my on my um, picture mate, I just printed four to a page. And there's one photo that doesn't get included, and that's me pulling a funny face in front of a Cadillac. But anyway, because there was one of them included on yesterday's page, so we didn't need to. But yeah, so I just put all my photos together. It is a very photo-heavy layout, not a lot of journaling on this one. But I did want to include lots of photos. And then I've got a few little collage bits um, that I spent the weekend cutting out. And this one says, it's a boy thing. And I thought it was quite fitting next to that picture of hubby, um, you know, admiring his Mustang. And then there is a picture down the bottom. Uh, there's a star down the bottom that says, seriously, the best. And that is right next to that lovely photo of me with my dad with dog and Cooper and I next to... Um, the car with Elvis on the bonnet. Cooper and I are very big Elvis fans, which is why we love this festival so much. There's always Elvis playing somewhere and live bands. It really is a great festival. If you've never heard of it, it's it's fantastic. The first time I moved up here, I didn't know what on earth it was either. And my friends kept talking about Winter Sun, and at the time, that's what the festival was called. And I'm like, all right, after three days of hearing, you know, what are we going to do for Winter Sun? Are we going to meet up? I'm like, what is Winter Sun? And they've looked at me like I was crazy. And they're like, do you not know what Winter Sun is? I've only been here for two months, people. I don't know what Winter Sun is. And that was when I learnt about Cool and Gatter's 50s Nostalgia Festival. And we have been big fans ever since. So when Hubby moved up here... 
uh, all those years ago and he discovered Winter Sun for the first time. Needless to say, he was in love. He's always been a, a Hot Rod fan and if you are a Hot Rod fan, this is definitely the place for you. And yeah, so I just had a really good time journaling all about this today and using all my photos and yeah, it was it was a lot of fun and I really wanted to share this new creative outlet that I have to, with you guys. So yeah, creative journaling I'm calling it. So there's uh, there's a few pictures on my Instagram and I will, like I said, I'll link to that below because um yeah, I've been really exploring this new creative journal over, the, over this past few days. It's been a lot of fun. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll be back real soon with another one. Bye for now.